and welcome to my first ever monthly favourites. So these are going to be my July favourites. So let's just get straight into it. So first let's talk about makeup. So my July makeup favourite is this Max Factor blush. So it's the Mac Max Factor Cream Puff Blush in number 5 Lovely Pink. I've been really enjoying wearing this blush. I'm wearing it today. Um, it reminds me of the Hourglass Infusion blushes because they have kind of a marbling effect. So they've kind of got a few different colours going through and some shimmer. So when you apply it with a brush and swirl it all together, it gives a really nice effect. It's just a nice pinky uh, rose colour. It's really easy to wear just with everything, I think. It's not too um, in your face. So my skincare favourite for the month of July is a lip balm. Because your lips are skin too, right? So this is the Mecca Cosmetica Lip Delicious SPF 25 Lip Protectant. Um, so it's from Mecca Cosmetica. It's just their own round lip balm. You can see this one's nearly empty. It's really hydrating, really um, glossy. So I like to wear it at night and in the day as well because it kind of doubles up as a lip gloss and a lip balm. So you can just wear it on your lips with nothing else and it kind of makes you look put together. It's also got SPF in it, which is great. And yeah, I really like it. This is my, um, I've repurchased it a couple of times already. So my hair care favorite for July um, is my Tangle Teaser. I've got the travel size Tangle Teaser. I take it pretty much everywhere with me when I go away. I don't really use any products in my hair ever. My hair is quite um, prone to getting greasy and I haven't really found anything that doesn't make my hair weighed down or feel heavy or greasy. So this is just my nat like I've just let it dry naturally. I haven't straightened it, but I have um, used the Tangle Teaser on it. So, yeah, I'll pretty much just use it when my hair is wet, when I get out of the shower, and just comb through, put my parting in, um, and comb it through and I don't really tend to brush my hair once it's dry I don't find that it gets very knotty unless I've had it tied up but yeah I really like this it's lasted me for a good few years okay so my fashion favorite for July is actually my pajamas so these are my leaf print pajamas from Topshop my mum gave them to me maybe for Christmas Maybe for my birthday, I can't remember. I don't think I've had them since Christmas. Maybe when I went back to the UK she gave them to me. I must have only had them for a few months. But I wear them all the time. And I could definitely see wearing this top just as a shirt. I love leaf print. I have a leaf print makeup bag. I love this leaf print H&M shirt that I tried on the other day. I just love the outdoors. I love the greenery. I love leaves. I love taking pictures of nature and leaves and things. I just think they're so beautiful and I'm all for leaf print. So yeah, so it comes with, I don't think they're available and these exact ones will be available anymore at Topshop, but the leaf prints are around everywhere at the moment. So it's like a long sleeved shirt, kind of sheer, and it comes with trousers as well. And I. I get so much wear out of them and I would definitely wear each piece um, separately in the daytime as well. Who says you can only wear pyjamas in bed? So my food favourite for the month of July is um, actually a drink. Pakari Sweat. Now, <laughs> Pakari Sweat is, um, is it Japanese? Or... 
Yeah, I think it's a Japanese, it's like a Japanese sports drink. It's like a fizzy, it doesn't, has a weird flavour, it doesn't taste like anything else. I'll try and read what it says. So it's meant to be, yeah, like a sports drink to replace electrolytes last. To replenish bodily fluids. So, yeah, we, we, I've been drinking Pocari Sweat for years and me and my boyfriend often buy Pocari Sweats in Australia, like after we'd play sports or we'd, we'd buy them for when we would play football and drink them afterwards or if we were like hungover, it's just a good way to make you feel hydrated and they're everywhere in Hong Kong so yeah I've been drinking them and yeah I love, I love it. So my music favourite for July is a song that's played everywhere at the moment, I can't like get away from it on Triple J or anything by The Weeknd, I Can't Feel My Face When You're Around or I think it's just called I Can't Feel My Face and he just released the official music video for it today which is really good and I just love that song like every few months there will just be a song which I can listen to on repeat and I will never get sick of and that is this song for me at the moment like I love it, I sing along to it all the time I find myself singing it when it's not on I like seek it out to listen to I turn it up when it comes on the radio I just, I friggin love that song it's such a good song and I he seems like such a cool guy um, and he's this year seems like his year he's really like the breakthrough artist of the year at the moment and I'm pretty sure he's dating a supermodel so my youtuber favorite for last month is um, so I watch a lot of youtubers but um, one of the daily vloggers who I watch every day basically is um, Datev Gallagher or Lady Dottie is her YouTube channel that she does uh, daily vlogs with her boyfriend Kevin and they live on Kevin's family's land in Nevada and they have a tiny house which they've built themselves like converted from a barn uh, into their tiny house where they spend where they live but they also spend a lot of time traveling like traveling America she's been on Kentucky tours she's um, best friends with Ali Speed so and other YouTubers and they just do lots of um, travel vlogs and as well as their daily vlogs and food videos and they have their own vegetable garden and they do cooking videos and they just like lead a simple authentic like wholesome life and they just seem like such lovely people and I really enjoy their videos every day and also because that have um, is a film film school graduate. They've just got such a good eye for um, capturing shots and putting videos together. And she's also done like short films that you can see on her um, Datev Gallagher channel as well. So definitely check her out if you don't already know who she is. And then my last favorite this month is gonna be my life favorite or like random favorite. So pretty much for this month, my life favorite is Hong Kong. So last week I moved to Hong Kong and I live in Hong Kong now. So I moved from Australia where I've been living and before that obviously I lived in England where I've grown up. Um, but yeah, now I live in Hong Kong and it's great. I'm loving it so far. Um, I still feel like such a tourist. I've barely even scratched the surface of what Hong Kong has to offer. I'm just excited to get out more and see see what's around and make the most of it and just yeah really get stuck in I guess so that's all my monthly favorites for the month of July I hope you enjoyed them I'm gonna make this a regular thing on my channel to record um, a few favorites each month definitely and um, thanks for watching I'll see you next time bye